Hey guys, Joshua Zamora here with a very quick update video to talk about what we've been up to uh, with Sendio over the last month or so. I'm going to be covering three different uh, upgrades that we've added to Sendio uh, to make it even better. Okay. Uh, and the first thing, the most obvious thing you're going to notice is the cleanup of the menu here on the left hand side. Okay. Uh, not only can you obviously uh, collapse it like that, but uh, it's now a lot cleaner. Okay. You don't have to uh, scroll all the way to the bottom or, you know, try to find what you're looking for. Now everything is easily labeled, uh, nice and organized. Uh, and we believe that is greatly going to improve the overall user experience because I know even myself before when the menu was, uh, not collapsed, uh, I would accidentally click on SMS when I'm trying to get to email or Facebook when I'm trying to get to email. So now we've simplified everything uh, and made it a lot easier. And if you uh, collapse it even more, uh, it even looks even more organized and you can just uh, have them pop out like that. Um, but that's the most obvious thing. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. And, uh, you know, I always like clean uh, menus like this and hopefully you guys do as well. So that's number one. Uh, number two is the ability to tag your subscribers as well. Okay. Uh, many of you have requested this and I had this on the list from even before we launched. Uh, we just uh, couldn't get it in there in time. Uh, but now it is available. So if you come here on the email, it's uh, available for both uh, sequences and broadcasts. Okay. So this allows you to build very, very targeted sub lists uh, from your existing list based on the activity that they take uh, when you're sending out your emails. So if I come here to tags and I create a new tag, I'll name this opened and let's say uh, SEO. Okay. So uh, this is going to be a tag. Uh, for people that open emails based around SEO. All right, so I'm going to do SEO interests. And what this setting is, is it allows you to import settings from an existing list. So if you guys remember, anytime you're setting up a new list, you have to set the name, uh, the from name, the, uh, the reply to email, the service that you want to be sending with, um, and the unsubscribe footer and all of that good stuff. So instead of having to set that up uh, each time for each tag, you can just copy it over from an existing uh, list because when I go over and show you how it works under broadcast, you'll be able to email just people in a specific tag and it'll use the settings from uh, the list that you select here. Uh, instead of again, having to set up uh, different sending settings uh, for each individual tag, you can just copy it over from another list that's already created. So I hit create that tag has now uh, been added and let's uh, come over here to broadcast and show you how it works now. So if I come here and hit broadcast, you'll now see two different things. You'll see that you can send to either a list or a tag. So that's why it's important to uh, copy the list settings from one list to the tags that you create. Uh, and now here you'll see the ability, the ability to add tag automation. So if I select that option to be on, uh, you'll see here that I can add uh, specific tags when people are opening this specific broadcast. Okay. So if this broadcast is about SEO for getting traffic, all right, as an example, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add these people that open this email to that tag that I just created. So I'm going to know that anyone that opens this email, it has some interest in SEO because they actually opened it. And this subject line is very specific. It says, uh, it talk, it's going to talk about SEO for getting traffic. So I know that anyone that opens this has an interest in this and I want to add them to this particular tag. Okay. Uh, and let's say that I have an older list of tags uh about seo and i want to remove them from those older lists so let's say that this testing list is an old list uh so i want to remove them from this tag add them to this tag and let's say that uh, i may have a sequence that's going to fire uh as soon as people get added to this tag so uh, i want to remove them from here add them to here so that it can kick off that sequence for this particular tag okay um, so that's how that works there. Uh, when people open this email, they're going to be added to this tag. And if they are in this tag here, they're going to be removed from this one uh, at the same time. Now, another thing that we have here is once you start um, adding your 
uh, emails, you'll see what happens when you add a link. Okay, and I'm going to load this uh, template that I have here because this is the actual email that I'm going to be using uh, to send to you guys about these upgrades. Uh, so you can see here I have a link added in this email. As soon as I added the link, I can now add an additional uh, tag automation which tags people that uh, click on this link. Okay, so I can add, uh, if I had an additional tag in here, I would add it. And it would say something like, you know, people that are interested in Sendio updates. Okay. Um, so that's how tagging works. Okay. You can tag people based on the emails that they open, remove them from uh, tags based on the emails they open. You can add them to tags based on the uh, li link, uh, links they click, and you can remove them based on the uh, links they click as well. So a lot of very powerful automation that allows you to build sub lists from your list so that you can further segment your subscribers and get really targeted groups of people, okay? Because again, now that I know these people are interested in SEO, I can just send them SEO or again, send them to a sequence that talks about just SEO, okay? Um, because if I come over here and create a new sequence, I'll now be able to also select from tags instead of just lists, okay? And I'll show you how that works here. All right, and there you can see I can select not only list but tags as well. Okay, so uh, that's how that works. And the last thing that I want to touch on is the API. Okay, so our API is ready. If you're not a developer, uh, this is probably going to go way over your head. But all you need to know is that with this API, we're not going to be able to uh, integrate with other third party services. So if you're using any page builder out there, uh, we're going to be focusing on integrating with them so that you can uh, have your leads going directly to your Sendio account instead of having to, you, to use HTML forms. Uh, the first test that we're doing is adding Sendio to Convertry. So if you guys picked up that special offer that I was able to negotiate, uh, that's going to be the first integration that we have so that we can test and make sure everything is working fine with the API and then go from there. So uh, those are the three things. Okay, a new menu. Uh, tagging automation and the API, which is going to allow us to start integrating with other third party services. So uh, we're staying busy over here. We're uh, continuing to improve Sendio and we hope you enjoy these updates.